Hi, my name's Rick Phillips. I'm with the Nutrients for Life Foundation. I represent the foundation here in Idaho and Washington and California. This little apple tree in my backyard is showing the very first buds of spring. And if we nourish it this summer and give it plenty of water and it gets plenty of sunshine, this fall we'll have a beautiful crop of apples to eat. In fact, that's what we're gonna talk about today is apples and earth is an apple. I want you to look at this apple and pretend that it is the planet Earth. If this apple were the planet Earth, how much of the surface of planet Earth has soil that's healthy enough to feed today's seven billion people? You might be surprised. To tell the rest of this lesson, I'm gonna to toss this over to Tracy in Florida. Thank you, Rick. So if this apple represents the Earth, we know that 70% of the earth is water. So here's what we have to work with. Here it comes, Deborah. Thanks, Tracy. Hey, it's Deborah here in Iowa. And Tracy got us started off by cutting up the apple and she left us one fourth slice. And that one fourth is the amount of land we have available here on earth. But only a small portion of it can be used to produce the world's food. Let's find out how much that is. Ready, Tiffany? Hi, I'm Tiffany in Louisiana. This core of apple represents land on Earth. This eighth of an apple represents uninhabitable land, which is mountains, Arctic, Antarctic, and desert. Haley, catch. Oh, thanks, Tiffany. <laughs> From here, I'm going to cut this one eighth piece into four equal parts. I'll set one of the 30 second pieces aside. The other three pieces represent either land that's too rocky, too wet, too dry, or occupied by cities. From here, it's gotta go to Katie. Let's see if I can throw it to Ohio. Here you go, Katie. Woo, great toss, Haley, thanks. My name is Katie Nanager and I'm here in Ohio and I wanted to share the part of the apple that is 130 seconds. And this is all that we have to grow all the food that we need for the growing population. By 2050, we're gonna have 10 billion people on this earth. That's a lot of people and a lot of food. Now I'm gonna pass this apple on to Kansas. Look out, Melissa. Nice throw. Thanks, Katie. Now that we've seen that this 132nd piece of apple represents the amount of land that's available to grow all of the food that we eat, let's peel that slice. This amount of peel, this tiny peel, is the amount of topsoil that's available to grow all of the food that we eat. Topsoil is the part of the soil that's rich in nutrients to give the plants the nutrients that it needs to grow and be healthy. Now we're off to DC. Watch out, here it comes, Harriet. With the small amount of land that we have to produce our food, it's critically important to understand our soils and our nutrients because without them, we don't have our food just like this apple. Today is April 22nd and it marks the 50th time we are celebrating Earth Day. To celebrate, we're gonna have Facebook trivia on our Facebook page today at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 7.30 Central Time. We hope to see you there. Happy Earth Day.